today we're going to take a look at the goodies inside my art snacks and sketch boxes for September. I have a year-long subscription to Art Snacks thanks to the generosity of my mother, Denise Hilburn. It was a Christmas present and it was purchased for the purposes of review. A Sketchbox year-long subscription was purchased for me out of my own pocket. And both of these reviews are made possible thanks to you guys. I mean, thanks to the generosity of my patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for believing in me and showing your support. I cannot express how grateful I am. Thank you so much. Anyway, anyway we're going to talk prices. We're going to talk art supplies. We're going to play around and we're going to have a good time and I might complain a little bit, but y'all know me. That's why y'all watch. So we're going to get started with art snacks. This month's brands boop, 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 include Alumacolor, Alvin, Kuratake, and this is actually mine that I put in for comparison, but we'll get to that in a moment. So, we got kind of a, a lightweight little box this month, um, and do, do 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 in the unboxing video, we did talk prices, so let's go over them one more time. We're gonna go with this Art Snacks exclusive, which is the Art Snacks Draft-O-Matic. And this is a mechanical pencil with a knurled metal grip by Alvin. It does have, you can change the lead indicator guide to indicate which lead you're using. People who use multiple types of lead, like myself, do find that pretty useful. Um, it is in .5, which is a size I just absolutely cannot use because I am heavy-handed. Anything thinner than 7 snaps immediately. Rawr, look at these meaty, mighty hands. Yeah, they snap leads. So, um, Art Snacks says it's a $14.50 value, and it is in a beautiful, beautiful aqua color. I do love that color. Um, and although they are not the Art Snacks exclusive, they are comparable. They are not in this lovely green. Um, but they are $10.45 on Dick Blick and $11.60 through Plaza, or $14.50 on the Alvin Co. Shop, which is the official Alvin Shop. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it in its tidy little pencil condom. Next up is the Zig Clean Color Real Brush, still in its wrapper. Uh, those of you who watch the channel have seen me talk about these before. Those of you who have read the blog know I reviewed these in the past, so why don't you guys click on that link and check out that review if you think this product looks interesting. Um, boo -doo -doo -boo -boo. Where are you? They say it's $3.48 retail. They are $6 and up open stock through Amazon, which is pretty hefty. Um, $2.47 on markersupply.com or $3.09 through Dick Blick. Let's go ahead and remove this plastic wrapper. Come on. Yeah, got it. has a matte body, a clear top, that's how you know it's one of the newer ones. The older ones have a top that's the same color as that collar on the inside. Next up is, oh, never mind, the Alumacolor Architect 6 inch triangular ruler. Cute little ruler. And I mentioned in my unboxing video that I really like Alumacolor rulers. I have used the same 24 inch ruler since I started grad school. I also defended myself from hobos in the parking lot with it when they would flash their bit and tackle at me. True story. Way to go, Scad. Woo! Um, so I really like my Alumacolor ruler, and no, I've never ever hit anyone with it. But I did carry it and look tough, as tough as a five foot three inch woman can look, carrying a ruler and a giant portfolio, which is not tough at all. But I did scowl, but people don't take that seriously either. Um, anyway, so they say it is a $7.95 retail value. It is $7.95 on the site. I did have difficulty finding this exact product online. What I found is the much smaller Architect Scale, also by Illumicolor. I have had this little buddy for a while, and I dare say one of these was sent to me in a prior Art Snacks. Anyway, I think this little guy is much more useful. It has a clip, which can also sort of mark your place. Um, so, you know, this is the one I keep handy. This one, 
I don't know. I mean, you know, they're about the same size, but this one's so stocky that it's just kind of like a novelty. It's more like a paperweight than anything. Lastly, we've got a Cura Color Twin S marker. These are alcohol-based markers made by Kuratake. They make quite a few of these. I have reviewed quite a few of these on the blog. My favorite of the Cura Color would be the Brush and Fine Point, which are my most recent review for this. Go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Art Snacks did send me one of these in my first, the first time I subscribed to Art Snacks, which was in like 2014. I did like nine months of Art Snacks reviews back then. So if you're interested in seeing how Art Snacks then and now compare, head on over to the review section of my blog and check that out. So, we only received four products this month, which is a little a little anemic, a little sad. Um, and one of them is not, I mean, it's an art supply, but it's not an art supply. You, know, you guys, it's not a mark-making tool. So, you, you guys know me. I tend to, like, not use the things like this. Because I'm a bad person. But we'll get back to that in a minute. Oh, and there was a Jolly Rancher. And I do actually like Jolly Ranchers. But they're Crunch and Chews. And uh, I have pulled fillings on these before. So I can't have that. Next up is the Sketchbox Basic. Their theme this month seems to be charcoal. And they are just chalk full. Or should I say charcoal. Womp, 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 full of goodies. None of which I've opened because, you know, I'm going to do that on camera for you guys because I love y'all so, so much. It wasn't even sarcasm. <laughs> I know it sounded like it, but it wasn't even sarcasm. So, we received a chamois or a chamois General's pencils, um, a Primo set of pencil, and this is made by the General Pencil Company, and some stumps and tortillions. And I am not a charcoal person at all. Believe it or not, I hate getting my hands dirty with this kind of stuff. I don't really mind going out in the woods and collecting stuff. I don't really mind getting my hands dirty in non-art applications. But I hate getting my hands dirty in art applications. Like, you might see me wear some nitrile gloves because I really don't like getting my hands dirty. Because when you're a comic artist, if your hands get dirty, it gets on every other page you've done and like you're going through like 30 pages of comic you know being like oh no I wrecked this page so I'm not super into um, charcoals and stuff and this month's brands are generals and art alternatives so we've only got two brands so the generals charcoal set it has four pencils in it one of which broke and one sharpener to sharpen these four pencils and it is $5.29 retail price according to the card that was included so kindly you can get it for $11.14 on Amazon or $3.28 on Dick Blake and I remember this brand being sold at Walmart because I remember buying a lot of General's pencils when I was a kiddo next up we've got the chamois and it is used for blending pastel, charcoal, or pen and ink drawings, creating effects in watercolor, and for smoothing clay surfaces. And seriously, guys, I've never used this for watercolor. I'm kind of tempted to cut this sucker in half and give it a shot with watercolor. Because, I mean, I've, I've never used it, and they're saying I can use it. And let's see. So this is $4.39 retail price, $6.48 on Amazon, or $5.49 at Joann's. I couldn't find, I did not find it online for other prices. Next, the Stumps and Tortillions, 10-piece set, $5.99 full price, $5.08 on Amazon, $4.90 on Art Supplies Online. Lastly, the Primo Charcoal Drawing Set is also made by Generals, like I said. $18.49 retail price, $12.35 on Dick Blick, or $20 through Generals. All right, you guys ready to talk turkey? Our total MSRP is $34.16 for the Sketchbox Basic. The lowest retail price is $24.92. I am very, very pleased to say that Sketchbox hit the month, the mark this month. Woo! All right. Usually, I want about $5 underneath the cost. So Sketchbox is $25 plus $5 to ship to people in the U.S. So they hit the mark at $25. Congrats, Sketchbox. 
And I just realized I didn't give you guys a total for our art snacks. All right, guys, and the total MSRP for our art snacks for September is $29.23, with the lowest retail price being $23.32. That's a palindrome. Um, <laughs> Now, Art Snacks is $20 shipped to the U.S., so I usually aim for about $15 or so worth of uh, products, and I feel like they hit the mark this month. Both boxes hit the mark this month, but which box is the winner? Even I don't know that yet. So, so we got a lot of stuff with our Sketchbox Basic this month, like a lot of pencils. I mean, let's see. We got four here. One, two, three. Five plus three charcoals plus a gum eraser plus a factus plus a sharpener. So we actually got two sharpeners plus some blending supplies. And we only got three drawing supplies with this month's art snacks. So if you are into drawing, if you're into making marks on paper or canvas or poster board or wood or what have you, um, it looks like the Sketchbox did send more stuff this month. So now we got to go ahead and dive on in there and take a look at these products. All right, guys, I have a confession to make. I have not used charcoal since freshman year of undergrad, which was almost 10 years ago. I am not a charcoal artist. I am not, this is not an area I have any expertise in. And I'm not going to claim expertise that I don't have because that doesn't do us any favors. I will go over these to the best of my ability. But y'all might want to Google around if you're actually interested in charcoal. Okay. That was actually a little bit difficult. So we've got our Primo set here. Oh, okay, good. So it does come in a bit of a case. Not, you know, the most sturdy thing, but it means you don't have to keep your cardboard box if you don't want to. And it does come with a nice little informational packet that talks about all of uh, General's products. Many of these I recognize from Walmart of my youth. These do not have a case. Not super sure where I'm going to put them. That was easy. These at least, you know what, I think I actually have some, I think I bought some for color pencil blending. I should have just grabbed those instead of opening up a fresh pack. Lastly, that chamois. And these are made from animal skin. It's like suede almost. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half. Or try to. These scissors might say no. These scissors say I'm not into it, but might do it. And we're going to have to play around with this other half sometime when we're watercoloring. Okay, so I have some pieces of Fabriano Studio watercolor paper, and we're just going to play around a little bit because, like I said, I am not super familiar, and I'm sorry my mouse is in the way. I think I've mentioned before that I do share my drawing table with my computer. 
Okay. Y'all are gonna hear me complain so much because I really don't like getting my hands dirty. It's gonna get everywhere. Ugh. Go ahead and grab this. This is my shavings basket since we've got a dead on arrival pencil. Sure. Might as well just do it on camera for y'all. And it looks like the big round sharpener that came in my Primo is just the little bitty red sharpener that came in the four piece set, five piece set I guess technically, um, glued in a plastic enclosure. That's, that's something, that's a thing. All right, so our four piece set comes with extra soft soft medium and a white our primo set comes with oh they're gonna give these grades aren't they I'm trying to get it so we can both see what i'm doing i'm having a hard time blanco another broken one awesome oh an elite grande all right, so we've got a 3B, an HB, and a B. That sounds to me like an extra soft, a soft, and a medium, plus a white, plus an elite grande, organic black. Plus we've got three charcoal sticks and a white piece of chalk, I guess chalk. One soft kneaded eraser, one black factus rubber eraser, and the pencil sharpener. So what I don't understand is why they sent me both sets because this set encompasses this set. So they could have sent something else, like some vine charcoal, which is what I'm actually more familiar with. Okay, you know what? Let's find out if Primo is Primo. We're gonna start over here with the extra soft, soft, medium, and white. Let's zoom way in for y'all. So that's extra soft. That's soft, a little less buttery, but not hugely so. Medium, which is probably good for fine details. But as you guys notice, there really, really isn't much difference in, um, it's not like with a, a pencil where like 8B is gonna be very rich and buttery and black, whereas F is gonna be very hard and brittle and um, light. There's our white. Now, let's go for Primo. So, we're going to start with 3B because that is, oh, these are hard to get out of the container. 3B because that would be extra soft, right? Next up is B. Whoa, B is way softer than 3B and darker too. And, oh, well, got a blowout. <laughs> All right. Let's use this All Art pencil sharpener add new lease on life to our charcoals. And it ate my lead. Well, it ate my, my graphite, my charcoal. There we go. Okay, 
right, let's try that again. Oh man, it's giving charcoal dust everywhere. And Blanco. And finally, our organic black, made only with the finest free range charcoals, squeaking up a storm. All right. You guys are about to see me behave really poorly because we're coming to the part where I got to handle this stuff with my delicate little hands. Coming to the non wood encased charcoals. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope, enjoy, hope you enjoy seeing me suffer. Oh. All right, does it have any markings on it? No markings. This is called compressed charcoal. And it gets your hands super dirty. It is good for covering larger areas than those charcoal pencils do. And they all seem to be the same grade. There is no discernible difference. This is a, I don't know what, but it's got some markings on it that my camera will not focus on. Awesome, there we go. It says Generals, US, Generals USA 958958. Mm, not, not much different than the pencil. Mm. All right, one hand washing later. We are going to check out the kneaded eraser. This is like everybody's favorite art toy, mostly because um, it is a toy. They're fun to play with. This one is packaged in such a way that... Uh, I can't get it open. They taped it, you guys. They taped this tiny little kneaded eraser package. Taped it. Because wrapping it up in cellophane is not enough. You gotta make it so no one can get into it. All right, one knife fight later. It's very sticky today. Awesome, got it, whoop whoop. All right, so for those of you who are not familiar with kneaded erasers, they are sticky and a little bit gummy and they're very fun to play with and they're very fun to mold in inappropriate shapes and they're very fun to throw at other people. And uh, they're supposed to be sort of molded into like teeny tiny shapes that you can remove teeny tiny amounts of, of charcoal and graphite or what have you. And then to clean them, you mold them into themselves, which basically just distributes the pigments and particles throughout the eraser. So it doesn't actually clean it. It just minimalizes where they are. Let's get all up in there. Mostly, it's just smearing it. And uh, charcoal is very hard to erase completely. I remember being very frustrated with it. Now we've got our black factus eraser. Also wrapped like candy. Slightly less fun to play with. Fun fact 
if you're erasing things on black paper, you should use a black eraser instead of a white eraser. Works a little bit better than that gum eraser. Fairly soft. Um, does roll up, it, it seems to roll up its um, eraser shavings. So that's cool, I actually really like the eraser. Not excited about everything else, but I like the eraser. So we've got some blending stumps. Let's start off with a big one. Oh, awesome. So it does indeed blend. It can be used to pick up some of the charcoal. Nice. You know, this is instead of using your finger, which you're not supposed to use because it puts down oils. Lastly, we're gonna try out the chamois, the chamois, the sham, wow. And surprisingly, the, the blending stumps actually work a little bit better. So that was a look at um, our sketch box for September. Next, we're gonna take a look at that art snacks. All right, guys, let's get back on more familiar turf since we've got markers to talk about and mechanical pencils and a ruler. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the Kuretake, Zip, sorry, Kuretake Zig Clean Color Real Brush. Now, Clean Color is actually a line of brushes that they make, and there's four different types of these pens. Um, the Real Brush has individual bristles, sort of like a Pentel pocket brush. And these are water-based and can be used like watercolors. And that pink was actually a really good color for that. So we're using Fabriano watercolor paper. As you can see, we're getting nice color dispersion. It has not separated out into individual dyes or individual colors. It's really a lovely color. Next up, we've got the Kuratake Curl Color Twin. That is an alcohol-based marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Blick Studio Blender. It is a twin tip marker. Unfortunately, one of those two tips is a bullet tip. My least favorite tip of all. Pro tip, I hate bullet tips. And we're gonna go ahead and pull out a Copic marker. Um, just, you know, cause that's what I tend to have a lot of and that's what a lot of people tend to be familiar with. But, you know, if it makes you more comfortable, we'll also add the studio brush marker. Brush part is important to the lineup. The Cure Col Curry Color S twin tip markers are refillable. You can find the inks online. There are not replacement nibs to my knowledge, but that may have changed since the last time I wrote about them. I'm gonna go ahead and squiggle down a mark using the ever so wonderful bullet nib. And now for the chisel nib, which you can get three line weights out of, so I don't know why they include the bullet nib. Nextly, we got the Alvin Art Snacks Draft and Matic. For comparison, I pulled out three other mechanical pencils, mechanical drafting pencils, I should specify. The Pentel Graph Gear 1000. This is an all metal body pencil with a knurled grip, and it also has like rubber spots on it. Those do nothing to save your hand from getting torn up. Um, a plastic Pentel and a plastic draft line, also by Alvin. 
So the um, Pintel, I mean the Art Snacks, Alvin Art Snacks, um, Draftmatic looks a lot like the Graph Gear 5000. And I'm looking around to see if I have one out. And it looks like I do. My, oh gosh, it's all gross. My very first serious business mechanical pencil. This is it, guys. Used it all through undergrad and a lot through grad school. Had to replace the clip. Looks really ratty. But as you can see, they're kind of designed along the same lines. This one does not have a lead indicator. This one does. It is way down on the barrel. Gosh, there we go. And it's very tight, hard to, hard to move it. This one is up here near the cap. Here's the eraser. It's one of those itty bitty useless things that you can replace a billion times or you can just say you're not gonna use it. And this is a back loading mechanical pencil. And unlike nicer mechanical pencils, the metal sheath does not retract. Fairly lightweight, moderately comfortable in the hand. That middle grip though will start biting into your fingers really quickly, especially if you're drawing commissions all day and you bear down too hard on your pencil, like some people here do. Lastly, we have the architect ruler or the architect scale. And, um, you know, I'm gonna really show my ignorance here because I am a comic artist and I don't really use these things. I mostly use little rulers that have inches and centimeters marked, but these have all sorts of markings on them, all sorts of scales, which would be beneficial to an architect of which I am not. So we've got like one eighth of inches marked and we've got three sixteenths, three thirty seconds. But honestly, I think the smaller pocket scale also by Illumicolor, is much more handy to have, and it fits much more neatly in my pencil case. And I don't think you guys need me to demonstrate how to use a ruler, because we all learned how to do that in first grade. So, that is my September Art Snacks versus Sketchbox overview. I hope you guys found it useful, I hope you guys found it helpful, I hope you guys found it informative. Um, oh, goodness. I'm feeling a little bit drained because I did this right off doing um, the Inktober overview. So like by now I'm kind of kind of winding down. So my apologies on the energy level. Um, I did not find either box to be particularly exciting this month. And a lot of that is personal preference. With the Art Snacks box, um, they sent some duplicate items. They sent one item that almost feels like clearance stock. And they sent a very attractive exclusive that, you know, I mean, the box was kind of light. There were only four items in it. And I really would have rather seen um, another, another drawing item. And I know this is technically a drawing item. I know. I just would have liked to have seen more and greater variety and maybe something I haven't seen before from them. And I also feel like the colors they sent me do not work well together at all, hence the Art Snacks Challenge. But I do check out the Art Snacks Challenge tags on Instagram, and I do notice that other artists um, tend to get better color combinations. So while I'm not like insinuating it's personal or anything ridiculous like that, I'm just sort of disappointed that my color combination does not really work well together. Um, they don't really contrast enough and they're not really close enough to be monochromatic. So it's just kind of like a, a bad combination. My sketch box, I felt like there were duplicates in there as well. What with the, the general set of pencils, um, the four piece set sort of 
overlapping with the Prima set, I would have rather them see them only include one of those sets and maybe include like vine charcoal or some other materials. But I do think in terms of being able to create a coherent piece, the Sketchbox did a better job this month than the Art Snacks did. Then I'm a little bit stumped as to what I'm going to do for my challenge. And to be honest, I'm not really looking forward to the charcoal challenge at all. But hey, that is what challenges are for. To force us out of our comfort zone, to force us into using things we don't really like. So I get it. Um, every month you guys ask me which box I would recommend over the other. Sometimes it feels like my answer varies from month to month. Sometimes my answer feels like neither. So you're going to have to read the full review to see um, which box I do prefer. And you can check that out at natosoup.blogspot.com. Um, I still have two challenge videos to do, so I will see you guys around. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please remember to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do this every month. So um, if you enjoy these sort of videos, you know, subscribing means you get to see them when they come out. Um, this sort of content does cost money to make. So if you are interested in helping me fund more content, if you enjoy this sort of content and want it to continue, or if you want some backer exclusive goodies, head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash for information on how to join the community. Um, lastly, if you enjoy art supply reviews or art supply tutorials, head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com. I've got seven years worth of good stuff over there, including reviews for two of the products in this box already. So, um, you can get your art goodness fulfilled over there. I'm Becca Hilburn at Natto Soup Studio. I hope you guys had a great day, and I thank you guys so much for hanging out. Bye!